So we've gone over the major technical aspects of creating your research poster. And now we're going to focus on what makes a good research poster. One that stands out, grabs attention, and clearly explains your research in a simple and straightforward way. In this video, we'll be discussing the major sections of your poster, how to manage your poster's flow, how to treat your poster like a marketing device, and how to pitch your poster during your conference, and also some tips and tricks to help you proofread your poster. Let's start with the sections of your poster. Most posters will have these general sections. Introduction, objectives, methods, results, conclusion, and references. This brings us to the concept of the elevator pitch. The basic idea is you want to explain the key points of your research in the amount of time it would take you to ride in an elevator. Figure you have 60 to 90 seconds to pitch your idea to someone before the doors open. You want to treat your poster the same way. Make it your elevator pitch. Better yet, use it as a tool in your elevator pitch. When somebody walks up to your poster and seems interested, give them your elevator pitch. Engage conversation, make eye contact, and use the poster as a tool to emphasize the key points. Poster flow is very important. You may not get a chance to speak with each individual that reads your poster, so you want to make sure it's designed in a way that's easy to follow. Make sure each section is clearly labeled, for instance, introduction, results, and so on. And some people do get creative with their columns, so to avoid confusion, try numbering each section as well. Like I mentioned previously, your poster is basically a marketing device. And in marketing, the headline is the most important part. The headline in this case is your poster's title. And you want your title to do two things. First, grab your viewer's attention while conveying the general concept of your research. And second, get them to read the first subheading. The headline of your poster is your title. Don't make the mistake of trying to cram as much information as possible into your title. Yes, it should convey the overall idea of your research, but the main goal is to grab attention. You want to get everyone walking past your poster to stop, come up, and read your poster. After attracting them to your poster, the second goal of your title is to keep them reading then the first block of text should do the same thing, convince them to read on, until they've read your entire poster. This is where flow comes in. You want to make sure that your poster is set up in a non-confusing way. This may seem obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many people throw up roadblocks that interrupts a reader's progress. So how do you know if your poster flows well? A good tip is to read it out loud to yourself. Is there anywhere where you stumbled or hesitated? Then ask a friend to do it too, and watch them as they read it out loud. This is a powerful tool that will show you whether or not your poster flows well. Just like a marketer aims an advertisement toward a specific demographic, you should design your poster to appeal to the specific type of person you're trying to connect with. Every decision you make about your poster should be done with them in mind. Doesn't matter if you like the background image or you like the color scheme. What matters is does your target audience? Will it attract them to your poster? Will it make it easier for them to read your content or does it make it harder? Put yourself in their shoes and look at your poster from their point of view. If you do that, you can't go wrong. We hope you enjoyed these videos on how to make a scientific research poster. If you have any questions, check out our website at makescience.com or give us a call directly at 1-800-347-2744.